Champagne is a region. Uh, it's, a, it's a region in France which is roughly 150 kilometers east of Paris. The product Champagne can only come from the Champagne region. That's really, really important to keep in mind. Anything else is sparkling. So, for example, Prosecco comes from Italy, Cava comes from Spain, and you also have domestically some California sparkling. But Champagne, as a wine, as a product, can only come from the Champagne region. Lançon has, has always been family-owned since 1760, something we are really, really proud of, and that makes us Lançon the oldest Champagne house to remain family-owned. It is the first oldest one, the oldest to remain family-owned. Every Champagne bottle is within what we call a cage. That cage is a protection to remove the cage. Basically, that is six turns. One, two, three up to six, and once you open the cage, what's very important, you do not remove it. You just enlarge the cage from the cork, point the bottle to a safe spot, and with your right hand, while maintaining the cork with your thumb, you softly, gently turn the bottle, and naturally, the cork is going to come making just a little pop, which is a sign that the party is starting. So Lançon has always been using predominantly Pinot Noir. We are a champagne house which Pinot, as we say. Lançon has always been making wine the same way, by blocking the malolactic fermentation. At Lançon, we don't want that natural process to occur. We want to preserve the malic acid, which is naturally contained into the grape, in order to block the malolactic fermentation to occur, basically, we chill the wine. So that's what makes Lançon so distinctive, is the fact that we are predominantly Pinot Noir and that we systematically block the malolactic fermentation to preserve the natural purity of the fruit. As a result, our wines are going to taste different. They're going to be fresher, cleaner, and crispier than most of the others. Rosé is the fastest growing category in Champagne. It's insane how much people on average are, are drinking rosé. 25% of Champagne consumed in the country is rosé. How do you make rosé? How do you make that exquisite uh, beverage. Generally, when you, when you do maceration, it gives a very um, dark kind of red color and in terms in term of taste profile, lots of tannin on the palate. Lançon, we never wanted that because first and foremost, even our rosé, we want our wine to be crisp, fresh and clean, delicate somehow. For that, we choose the opposite way because only in Champagne you have another way to make rosé. And that's what we call rosé d'assemblage. At the very end of the first alcoholic fermentation, we add a little bit of still red wine, coming from Champagne, obviously. Everything has to come from the Champagne region. And we add 6, 6.5% of still red wine from a beautiful village named Bouzy, which is planted with Pinot Noir in the Montagne de Reims, Grand Cru village. Just by the color, you can tell it's a rosé d'assemblage. That's how you get that really pale salmon color. Your rosé is going to be very delicate, subtle, feminine, with some very gentle grapefruit nuts.